So um, this game is a cognitive assessment um, in, in its typical format. It's called the Go No Go test. Um, and so in the Go No Go test, a player would respond to a stimuli and then have to inhibit the response to a different stimuli. So in this case, we want, we want the players to tap the gems when they appear, but we don't want them to tap the fish when the fish appears. So the, the player has to inhibit the desire to tap that fish. So if you see, if he, if, he, if he taps the fish, the fish sort of gets a little bit uh, angry. If you don't tap the fish, the fish actually tosses the gem to the character there. And this game um, ramps up kind of slowly, but the idea is is that the um, at the beginning here the stimuli comes on relatively um, slowly in between each stimuli, about a second or so in between each stimuli. But as the game goes on, it takes three minutes to complete the whole game. And this game is a game that assesses divided attention. So the way that you typically assess divided attention is that you have a primary task and you measure um, the response time related to that primary task. And then you layer on a secondary task and you see how, how much um, more slowly does the person respond to that first task because of the presence of that second task. So you're always measuring the first task as your primary measure. So in this case, the first task is just tapping these gems. And so in the background, the information that we're collecting is what is this intertap interval? So how quickly does the person respond to these gyms as they appear? And now we're starting to see a secondary task, these crazy eel-like creatures that come on from the, on the side of the screen. Their job is to protect the eels and not let you get them. And you can see as we move higher up in the levels, that these eels start to come on faster and faster and there's more of them. And as a result, I am not able to um, touch the gyms quite as quickly. And I'll just play this to the end since it's got 10 seconds left. is that we are translating um, gold standard cognitive tests into a game-like environment to see if there's, um, first of all, to, of course, just to measure them, to, to measure someone's performance, but also to see if there is a difference in the motivation to actually perform the activity um, could potentially be better in the game-like environment than in the regular gold standard.